Hi everybody, this video is for Roy and anybody else who's been having trouble uh, downloading and installing or using the tools that are listed in the description below my DAISY console modding beginners guide video. So there's a few things here that are integral to your journey that you'll be taking if, as you start modding and DAISY um, servers for console and PC. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd take a step backwards and break it down a little bit more if you're having trouble with these. So the first thing is Notepad++. So when you click on that link, that'll take you to Notepad++. And Notepad++ is just a text editor, but it's a very useful text editor to use because as you paste things in, depending on the file type, it will color code them. So it makes it easier to see things, easier to see if you've made mistakes and that sort of stuff. Now to actually get Notepad++, you have to click on the download link and then download the latest version. And that will then download a um, .exe. Um, which you can then double click on and that will install Notepad++ on your computer and then you can crack on from there. Then we have the original DAISY file. So these are here um, and this is um, Bohemia Interactive, the publisher and developer behind DAISY. This is where they keep the, the server files that you can have access to for a basis for doing modding. So for example, if we scroll down here, we've got daisyoffline.chernerus plus. So these are the, the mission files that you'll want to download. And if you start modding, these are often, as I say, the, the basis for that. Now you get these by clicking on the code button and clicking on the download zip button. Um, and it's quite a big file, but they will uh, download as you can see here and they'll download, but it will be in a zipped up file. Now, on your computer, depending on what you've got already installed, you should be able to right click and you'll have something like extract here or unzip. Obviously, maybe copy the file somewhere else before you, before you do that. If you haven't and you can't get into it, what you want to do is you want to get WinRAR and you want to download WinRAR, which as far as, as, far as I'm aware is um, free to use. Uh, I know it says buy, but you don't need to. And then you can use it ad, infin ad infinitum as long as you're a private user, I think, um, and that will work that way. Uh, the Daisy Wiki and the Daisy Fan Wiki are good for general information. Now, Don Sibley's tutorials are very, very useful and is a good place to part. However, he has put them behind a paywall now. Um, still recommend you pay him a couple of bucks a month to have access to them. Um, but what I'll do is, well, in the description below this video, I'll put a link to my. Um, playlist of uh, basic uh, server modding that you may well find useful. Next we have Balshad's Discord, very important one this one. Um, you're going to have to download and install Discord um, and I'll put, and then you can access all sorts of uh, great tools and Balshad's Discord in particular is very very useful because what he's done he has, um, on the left hand side, as you scroll down, there's just loads and loads of reference uh, tutorials on how to do things and explain things. Um, now, I would always recommend in his Discord, you can use his bot. So if you ask Vicky questions, she'll tell you about how to do things automatically. Um, and have a good look around and use the search function of Discord to see if there's an answer to something already before you dive in and start asking the people who are there about how to do stuff. Because a lot of the real basics are down here on the left hand side and you'll be able to find how to do things um, without, uh, without too much trouble. Then we have the validators. So the XML validator and the JSON validator. Um, now, what you do with these is if you have a file that you want to validate, so you've been editing on your types.xml, what you want to do is you go here and you choose the file and you click on the file and you would go um, something like this. You find the file that you want it to validate and you say open and validate and that hopefully will validate it and you'll get no errors were found. Woohoo, so that's good. Now the JSON one is a little bit different. JSON tends to be like CFG uh, gameplay.json and things like that. What you do with this one is you copy it, well, you kind of drag it in. So let, let me show you. So if we go to here, uh, we've got a CFG, there yeah, we've got a CFG gameplay.json. So I can cop, drag it to there, let go of it, process, and it is valid, which is fantastic which is what we wanted so that's how you use that one uh, how to install a local daisy server that's just the link now daisy editor this is probably the one that trips most people up when i think oh right daisy editor i can just i can just download that 
and uh, and dive in and use Dab's amazing tool. Unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as that. Daisy Editor is actually a mod for Daisy on PC. So the first thing you need to be able to have is you need to own Daisy on PC and have it installed on your PC. Then you go to Steam and you subscribe to it and you subscribe to its dependencies as well. So these are the other mods that Daisy Editor needs in order to work and that's Community Framework or CF, Builder Items and Dabs Framework. So you subscribe to them install daisy on your pc and when you fire up the launcher it will download all of your mods and if you search in the mods and go to editor you'll see you've got daisy editor so i select that and it will say load these up as well because you have to and you can load them up and then we could see actually i could actually get rid of that because we don't need that and we don't need that and we get to this situation here now this situation here when we've got daisy editor and its dependencies ready to go you click on play you don't try and find a server or anything like that you just click on play and it will launch a um i guess you call it a, a client side version of the game so it's running on your local pc um with the mod sort of on top of it um and then you can start using it and you can look at the various tutorials that are out there that show you how to use daisy editor um, so the critical things are uh, you need to own daisy on pc and you need to subscribe to the mod and its dependencies in the Steam Workshop. And then you need to fire it up just like I showed you there. So you fire it up by pressing play. You're not finding a um, a server to play on or anything like that. It's it's a client side. So it means it's on your local PC and it's running there. And there we go. You can see we are uh, now in the Daisy editor. So, so we can press spacebar. We can place things and generally have a good time obviously in this video i won't go into um, how to actually use daisy editor that's just enough to get you started right have we covered everything have we covered everything um i think we have so there we go um as i said in this video daisy modding whether it be for xml and json mods on console um, or the more complicated PC stuff, you need a lot of patience. But there are lots of resources out there, it's just that they tend to be spread around lots of different places. YouTube, Reddit, Discord, um, and always have a look at, remember, when you find a resource, even my stuff, check the date at which it was published, because stuff does go out of date fairly quickly in the modding world, whether that be Daisy or any other games. So if something doesn't work, it may well be because that thing... Um, has been superseded as well one of the ways you can check that is if you go into the comments see what other people are saying as well okay so ron i hope that's helpful i hope i've answered some of your questions if i have let me know in the comments below if you've got any other questions and that goes for ron and anybody else let me know and i'll do my best to um, make videos about it because i know some of the concepts that we come across i may well assume that you know what they are and I am more than willing to break things down even further to make sure that it's really simple in hopefully a step-by-step, -step, easy to understand manner. Anyway, if the video has been useful, hit like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.